everybody nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 of nerdigan zinc and anime and manga contributor to bounding into comics and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for kanojo agarashimasu aka rent a girlfriend chapter 231 so before i get into this recap and live reaction let me just remind you to hit that like share and subscribe buttons and because of course this channel let alone this video are not sponsored and we ain't sponsored by Kadansha, even though we're trying to get even more Kadansha series onto um, the Crunchyroll manga app, especially in terms of simulpubs. <sighs> Speaking of, not even sponsored by them either. <sighs> and, you know, we're struggling to keep this operation afloat, a.k.a. keep a roof over my head up in here. But if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation a kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to um, hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nerdigan's last chapter made me so happy because... Finally, after so many goddamn chapters, Jizuru stood up for herself and called out Mommy's Bakery. <laughs> and her, let's be real, and her projection for the most part. She did, and she said, I don't know what your problem is, bitch, but it sounds like you need to probably uh, check yourself. Um, because this weird ass obsession you have over Kazuya, yeah, it sounds like you have feelings for him. <laughs> and she might have, you know what? She makes a good point. Gotta wonder if in the process of, um, trying to bring down Chizuru, maybe she fell for Kazuya. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. And hell, let's be real, it does happen. And Ruka, I am still very surprised at you for not calling that bitch out for trying to use you either. Why did you not do that? Weird. Weird for you to not do that. Anyways, now we're in a very interesting predicament here because it's just Chizuru and Kazuya in the room. Let's see what's going to happen this week. I'm really looking forward to this. A sudden impulse of calling as for what to talk about? He has no plan. Of course you have no plan. What happens, happens. I just gotta go with the flow. In this chapter... <gasps> oh my god. After what seems like a fucking eternity. This chapter is titled, The Girlfriend of Paradise, Final Part. Oh my god, we are ending this arc today. Finally! Oh my god! Goodbye, Hawaiians! Bye, kitty fish! All that heart-pounding excitement will be our precious memento. I ran after an impulse, but now what? I mean, on my end. Well, alone in a room with Mizuhara? Uh, right after uh, something like that happened? The something like that being the smooch. What the hell am I even trying to ask her? Oh, snapping back a step, step. Something like, um, something like, what was that? Or maybe what was up with that kiss? Uh, I can't. It's too risky. No matter how I, um, how I look at it, a wild step to a part of the brain appeared. <laughs> oh, I'll step to a part of the brain appeared. <laughs> oh, God. Hey. It's okay. When, uh, we women are like this too. Have you never watched Sex in the City before? <laughs> Samantha is a, Samantha represents a good chunk of us women. Because <laughs> a lot of us are just like, especially when we see some good looking guys, we're just like, yeah, we just want to fall. <laughs> Seriously, Samantha represents a good chunk of us women. <laughs> Well, 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 what have we here? My job here is done. Um, if anything, uh, considering I failed her here, her opinion of me must be at rock bottom. This is 
wasn't nah that's her opinion well nah her opinion of mommy was already at rock bottom no nah, i think it's be beyond rock bottom Shazura's <laughs> Shazura's opinion of mommy was already beyond rock bottom Shazura's opinion of mommy is like at tartarus levels right now this is bad. The inside of my head is a field of flowers because of that kiss. The world has turned pink. And that's a bad thing? Um, Mizuhara's body, all of it, right up to the uh, finest detail. I can't help but notice everything. Uh, of course I would. Just uh, four wee hours ago, no, um, no matter uh, the way, shape, or form, I did it with her. The kiss. With this angel who looks like she was spat out by a new, uh, neural. Oh my god, what the fuck? With this, what this writing is, you know what this writing is giving me? It's giving me, it's giving me Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh my god, this is giving me Fifty Shades of Grey writing. I can't with this shit. And I'm going to say this about Fifty Shades of Grey. It is a guilty pleasure read. I... <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I have e-copies of all three books and I love them. <laughs> They're guilty pleasure. What can I say? They're guilty pleasure reads. I love them. The movies though, mm -mm. They, they, those movies ain't it. Those movies can burn. The Kiss with this angel who looks like she was spat out by a neural network. Mizuhara, dude, this is like, oh my God, this, oh my freaking God. Gosh, I've got, damn it, this is how Anna would describe Christian Grey. <laughs> Describing her wrist is sexy. Alright. Shit, even her, um, even her mitochondria looks cute sexy. What? Okay, this might be even beyond, like, Anna Steel, Fifty Shades of Grey realness. Oh my god. Hold on, I gotta think about this. Is this beyond... Would she, would she say, no, I don't think she even would say this. Or not even say, I'm wordings. Think this. Oh my God. The fact that, Reggie, the fact that you are going beyond cheesy ass Fifty Shades of Grey writing, that says a lot. That really says a lot, because that writing is cheesy as fuck. <laughs> Again, it's guilt, <laughs> guilty pleasure. Guilty goddamn pleasure read. God damn it, I love those <laughs> books. God damn it, I hate that I love those books. <laughs> Whatever. She kissed you, that was a goddamn kiss. But, but, it's fine, right, Curry? I can ask her, I can ask her, of course, what the fuck? Of course you can ask her. What the hell is wrong with you? I can ask her, right? Uh, er, uh, Mizuhara, it's not like that was our first time, right? Huh? That's twice now, is uh, that's twice now, isn't it? And it's too late to talk about breaking the terms of service. Given the circumstances, it was our only option. Hmm? So she considers that a kiss? Oh God, she does. All right. Frankly, it's fully not cool that we're still making excuses even now, but it is true that it's best we end, end this by breaking up. We could do that right away, but with an incident like this, it does sound more credible. All this just to not burn bridges. Oh. And like, I couldn't just leave you hanging, you know? Hmm? What Mommy said was also true in a way. Under I understand my indiscretions. I share the blame too. Besides, you're the one who insisted I tell my grandma the truth right until the end. I'm sorry about this. This is my problem. I couldn't help but think, you know, it's ridiculous to say that it's all your fault. What? Hold 
on. And like, I couldn't just leave you hanging, you know. Um, what mommy said, mommy san said was also true in a way. I understand my indiscretions. I share the blame too. Besides, you're the one who was, uh, you who insisted I tell my grandma the truth right until the end. I'm sorry about this. This is my problem. I couldn't help but think, you know, it, it's ridiculous to say that um, it's all your fault. How is, hey, at least, well, she did admit part of the blame. She takes um, the blame, but bitch, you should have told your grandma anyway. Even if they did break up, quote unquote. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, prepare yourself. Uh, later, I need to be somewhere. Prepare yourself. I'm not letting you go into white night mode and just shut all of this down yourself. Ooh. Uh, Mizuhara, I see. That's how it is. She's so nice. Uh, I, I, I'm going to say this. I love that, that Shizuru basically said... I'm not allowing you to go into white knight mode. <laughs> Thank you for putting that in there, Reiji. That was a nice touch. Ah, uh, but seriously, she was so nonchalant about it. You and she was like, this is business as usual. She was treating that kiss like no big deal. What did you want her to do? Which means she acknowledges that her actions were out of line um, professionally, but nothing more and, and nothing less. God, I feel like I was playing out some random shit there, self loathing and death from embarrassment. I feel like I'm... But, Kazuya, she might have been... The other thing is, she might have been testing you, you moron. Have you thought about that? Because we women play games like this all the time. We do this shit. You could have said, I don't care. I want to be with you. Thanks for saving me, but... And... I want to be with you. I meant what I said. I feel like if I think back on it, I'll die. If she says that's not the first time we did it, I can't really argue with that. And Kibe and my family would have abandoned me if she didn't do that and saved us. She kissed you. That was a goddamn kiss. Korean don't understand anymore. After all, Mizuhara is a grown woman. Chizuru-san said that? Yeah, I got a message online earlier saying that the three of us along with uh, Kazuya-san should stay over today. I see. Well, there was that thing in the afternoon, too. The more the merrier, I suppose. And what about Mizuhara? Who knows? Is she taking a walk again? Well, there was a lot going on. I suppose there are things she needs to think about, too. That said, this was a ridiculous trip. What was that all about? I caused problems for Mizuhara again. With this, uh, the lie about this, the rental thing has been... With this, the lie about the rental thing has been dealt with. It was the only way we could get it under control. There are things uh, you can do. Uh, there are things you can do and things you can't. But now there's the lie that us being in a relationship is not a lie. Once she suicide and comes back, I'm going to give her a piece of my mind all the way until morning. Oh, my God. Seriously, though, where is she? Ruka, you ain't his girlfriend, though. Like, why are you bitching? Didn't... Didn't Kazuya, like, fucking make it clear they don't want to be with your ass? Like, come on. What Mizuhara is still thinking of, uh, what, oh my god. What Mizuhara is still thinking is, um, is still a mystery. That kiss meant something. Is it wrong for me to think that? No. It's not wrong for you to think that. It's wrong for Mizuhara for you to, for her to, like, not think, well, she knows how dense you are, Kazuya. She's just being a dumbass in this regard. But, I kind of understand why she's doing this to an extent because she is trying to protect you but at the same time it's like woman you are playing a game here i know she's playing a game but it's like bitch come on man just be honest with yourself you love kazia you have said this you have admitted this don't pull a mona on me here mona is starting and <laughs> Oh, read, um, oh my god, Kawaii Madaka, My Charms, um, oh my god, what's the series called? Oh, it's gonna piss me off. Where are 
Ew. My charms are wasted on uh, Kawaii with Madaka. I swear to God, that series is so good. It's good. I swear. Um, Shizuru needs a Tomo. She needs the Tomo to... Uh, she needs a Tomo. She does. Tomo is uh, Mona's friend that like actually helped her ass get through all this crap. Seriously, woman, you need a wing woman like Tomo. I don't understand why you do not have it. She kissed you. That was a goddamn kiss. Mizuhara, thank you. I'm just a stranger, right? Um, so what's it matter how you feel about the other person? I'm not going to rent Shiz Shizuru Mizuhara anymore. Mizuhara! Let's do it together. Let's make a move. I'll get it done no matter what. Please, please. Oh, I fucked this up. I. Uh, let's do it together. I'll make. Let's make a movie. I'll get it done no matter what. There we go. Haha. -ha. Wait. She's counting the CPR as a kiss. Oh, fucking a. That's just hitting me now. Please, please. My perfect girlfriend. She's. I'll protect you. I swear I will. Mizuhara, she's not like that at all. Um, that's who Jizuru Mizuhara is, and that's why I love her. Yeah, I understand why she wants to be alone. She needs to figure out her feelings. A moment- Oh, thank God, we're getting something here. A moment when love takes root. Do you know about it? It's when talking about that person fills you with laughter and joy. Yeah. It, <laughs> it's true. She's not wrong about that. It's not just that, though, because when you talk about your friends, it, you, it, does, it can do that, too. But, like, when you talk about someone you really love like that, like, you feel the butterflies in your stomach. You feel like your heart racing. It just makes you all giddy. That's the better. That's the better way to describe it. It fills you with laughter and joy. Getting up giddy is a better word. Because <laughs> it's true. Come on, it's nothing like that. Didn't I tell you? Because I can't. I shouldn't fall in love with the client. Bitch, this is Moda. This is fucking Moda. God damn it, woman. Now, Ruka is too stupid to be like Tomo. Mm. Jizuru, you need a Tomo, like Wing Woman. It just sucks that Ruka is not that girl. After all, a sense of accomplishment is the one thing you can't rent. <laughs> what are you laughing for, Grandma? <laughs> she love it, you ass. Budding feelings, warm but uncomfortable. The paradise star comes to a close. Next time, Tokyo. But I know, Kitty, she's in denial. Woman, you are being ridiculous. Oh, God. You gotta cue up Hercules for a minute here. You gotta cue up the muses. You have to. Because she just refuses to say it. She does. Woman, you and Mona were doing, Mona was doing the same thing. She was. That's right, Kitty, she was. Yes, you know, she was doing the same thing. She wouldn't say it. She couldn't say it. Um, she just wouldn't admit. What, Kitty? She was in love. Bitch, you are in love. And Grandma's laughing at you because she, because you're being stupid. Because you, of your denial. Yeah, even Seno knows. Seno's like, you are in love, woman. You are in love. God, now I want to watch Hercules get. <laughs> I want to watch Hercules. If I would not get a copyright, that's why I need to be sponsored. If I wouldn't get a copyright strike, then I would be playing it. You know it's true. She acting like Megara right now. She giving you Megara realness. God damn you. Shizuru, you need some muses up in here. You do. 
You are in denial. You are in denial. Ow, cat. But I understand she just wanted to be alone to sort out her feelings. And I understand why she was saying to Kazia to not white knight her and shit. I respect her. I, I love that she said this. I do. Because that gets very annoying. She needs to figure out her own shit. And once she knows what she wants to do, then she'll, then she'll say it. But goddamn, this writing from Kazuya, this, this fucking writing is just, and it's been, it does that every once in a while. What Reiji gives you is freaking Anna Steele. <laughs> so Anna Steele describes Christian Grey every once in a while um, in Fifty Shades of Grey. That's what it gives you. At least for me, anyway. But yeah, let's be real. Chizuru, in a way, in terms of her attitude, does give you a little bit of Christian Grey. Does she have some Fifty Shades? Mm. She's not as fucked up as Christian Grey. Nah, Christian Grey, whew, he's fucked up, he's fucked up. But I'm very curious what you guys think of this chapter. God damn it. Chizuru, you had to give Megara realness. That you did. But I think Sumi's going to help her. I think Sumi will be the Tomo in this uh, in the situation. She will be the Sumi will be the Tomo to um, Chizuru's Mona. That makes the most sense to me. I'm very curious what you guys think. What do you guys think of that little white knight touch, though? <laughs> and if you've read Fifty Shades of Grey like I have, I'm curious if you are getting the same thing that I am. That and I don't, I don't know why it took me this long to like really realize that that this is some like Anna Steele Fifty Shades of Grey writing that we get from Kazia in terms of like inner monologues. But God damn it, it is. <laughs> And no, I am not ashamed that I like the books. I love them. Gotta love guilty pleasures. God, I have so many guilty pleasures, it's not even funny. <laughs> Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Sync if you love what we are doing here and want us and help us keep our operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more rent a girlfriend content a few ways you can do that donate to our cash app paypal patreon purchase something off our amazon wish list all that's in the description box below also make sure you follow us on twitter twitch discord friend us on playstation network that's in the description box below as well till next time nerdigans i will be seeing you later bye